So to collect the data for this activity is very simple. I've got this simulation that's going to let us see voltages. Before you watch this, make all your predictions. Make sure that you predict um, what's going to be the anode, what's going to be the cathode, direct uh, the direction of flow, make that prediction. Um, predict what's happening at the surface of the electrodes as well. Is the electrode gaining weight? Is the electrode losing weight? And so forth. So make all these predictions before you watch this video. So to do our simulation, we're going to select a metal um, as well as a solution. So I'm going to put copper in the right side. I'm going to put silver in the left side. OK, and close those back up so we can see everything that's going on. I'm going to keep the concentration at one molar because that's standard. So the numbers we should get should coincide with the voltage that you calculate in your predictions. And then we're just going to turn the switch on and see what happens. OK, so we're going to take a look. Um, we want this thing to disappear. So notice what's happening. The copper is being oxidized. Electrons are forming at the copper anode. They're traveling through and to the silver anode. Um, and if we look at what's happening at the molecular level, you can see that the uh, copper is losing electrons. So the cathode, or I'm sorry, the anode is getting smaller because it's losing electrons. Um, and then over here at the cathode, you've got the electrons joining with the silver ions, making it a larger electrode. Okay, so there's the first example, silver and copper. So let's go on and we'll do, oops, I'll close that. Uh, second example, we'll do zinc and silver. Close those back up once again. Turn on the switch and we'll see what happens. So notice that once again, you've got a positive voltage. So this cell would act as a battery. We've got zinc losing the electrons. We've got silver gaining the electrons. And again, at the level of the atom, you can see what's happening there. And then something similar happening to what we saw in the first example. OK, so we'll close that turn off our switch. We're going to do the third one, which is going to be zinc and copper. So for the third time, we'll turn the switch on. You see once again that the electrons are moving from the zinc to the copper now. Voltage is 1.10, and were you able to make that prediction? So I guess the only new thing is what's happening at this surface. Copper ions are migrating to the electrode and bonding with the electrons. And you would see the zinc once again losing electrons to become zinc ions.